The schedule of the President of the United States of America is always a busy one, from meeting heads of state on the other side of the world to addressing local constituents in their hometowns. POTUS has to get from point A to point B fast, safely, and of course, in style. That's where the aircraft known as Air Force One comes in. Used by the American president for decades and even the inspiration for a blockbuster Hollywood action film, the call sign for the president's personal ride has become a household name. But as time goes on and technologies evolve, so too must Air Force One. So pack your bags and get ready for takeoff in the presidential suite. Because in today's video, we're taking a look inside the new and improved Air Force One. The term Air Force One itself is simply a call sign, and any aircraft that carries the American president immediately takes on the moniker. But it's the Boeing 747-200 that has been the model most associated with it since the 1990s. It's carried five US presidents and plenty of high-ranking officials over the last three decades. While most of us have flown on this Boeing model while traveling, the president isn't flying around in a typical passenger model. They require something a little more lavish and a little more luxurious. This Boeing 747-200 comes complete with multiple meeting rooms, five-star guest cabins, communication rooms, and defense systems to keep one of the most important people in the world safe. But during the Obama administration, an order was placed for not one, but two new replacement planes for the fleet. A very expensive order. Try $4 billion. Back in 2015, President Barack Obama chose to stay with the trusted Boeing company, because not long before, Boeing had released their incredible 747-8 model, which included the extravagant VIP variant, which is fit for a king, or in this case, a president. This new and improved Boeing 747-8 can fly farther and faster, all while leaving behind a much smaller carbon footprint than its predecessors. While much of the new features are strictly confidential, some of the modifications were made public. For now, we know it will include electrical power upgrades, a mission communication system, a full medical facility, built-in retractable stairs, chaff dispensers, and state-of-the-art infrared countermeasures that can divert missiles by disturbing their guidance systems. It sounds like something out of a James Bond movie, but believe it or not, it's real. While Air Force One can be considered a White House of the skies, the incredible new model is built more like a flying fortress. And much like its previous iterations, this will be built to last for the next few decades. The new Air Force One comes in at 200 feet long with a 5,000 square foot interior. Not only is it larger than an NBA basketball court, but it is the longest passenger plane in the world. Its state-of-the-art wings and engines give it 17% more power and allow the aircraft to take off and land on incredibly short runways and reach speeds of Mach 1, just in case the POTUS needs to move quickly. It's the fastest passenger jet aircraft to date and probably the most important plane in existence. It truly is a plane like no other, but revamping the Boeing was no easy task. To pull it off took an enormous team of engineers and mechanics in order to completely gut the enormous interior. The interior of the new and improved Air Force One has a much more modern look. At the front of the aircraft is the presidential suite, which is only accessible by a very select few. It was given a southwestern design in the 1980s, but will receive one of the first major interior upgrades. The fold-out single beds in the presidential suite were swapped out for a queen-size bed, a much larger TV, and room for seating, giving the room a more welcoming and homey feel. The original plane has also had a bare-bones medical bay, but it has never consisted of anything more than a few seats. It looked more like a work office than it did a doctor's office. The redesign includes a hospital bed, medical-grade overhead lamps, a full sanitary station, and a heart monitor. It will be fully equipped for potential surgery and will even have a fully stocked pharmacy. The president can rest assured knowing they'll be getting the best medical attention should the need arise. The conference room will also be updated, getting rid of the old landline phones and replacing them with cell phones, and adding touchscreen monitors built into the desk. Past presidents have had problems getting important information to their teams on the ground using out-of-date technology but those problems will be a thing of the past. 
Everything is moving away from analog and catching up to the digital age, and all of the power on board will be generated from the more eco-friendly and quieter engines, which use 16% less fuel than the previous model. Throughout the cabin are two small cramped galleys, which will be converted into a space twice their current size and with capacity for 2,000 meals, with food that is sourced in the US and served in the style of a five-star restaurant. Since most of the President's guests aboard Air Force One are heads of state, it's important to keep them well-fed and happy with dinners that are better than the meals most of us eat on the ground. The former cabin interior was a neutral and stale shade of brown but will be painted white to give it a sleek and modern look. The interior will also be lined with full-sized windows throughout to give everyone on board some much-needed sunshine when things get stressful. And perhaps the most important room on board this 7478 is the President's office, which will receive a full revamp with a sleeker, modular look complete with all of the latest in communications technology. This will be the new Oval Office in the sky. Whether the President of the US is going on vacation or making an emergency trip, the new and improved Air Force One is a force to be reckoned with. Built to last with state-of-the-art defense systems, but also for maximum comfort, this fortress in the sky will hopefully serve future presidents with grace and luxury for years to come. But is there another presidential aircraft, past, present or future, that surpasses the new Air Force One? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Remember to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to Insane Luxury if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.